I don't know if we have it on this setup, but. All right, we got another. <laughs> I have something I need to say because you know I I didn't think this was gonna. Uh, no, I lost. No, that's about it. That was oh man. That was moving. I'm literally in tears. I. It's I really that or sweat. You, I'm completely dripping in something. Are they up next? All right. Oh, winners finals. Okay. Now I don't have to play this game anymore. I can move on to what like my real my real passion is commentating other people <laughs> playing this game. Basically shit posting IRL on commentary. Okay. N Diaz. Isn't N. isn't your name Ikarium or something? Nick? Isn't your tag Ikarium now? I Ikarium? <laughs> That's... Winners Finals. That's a thing. I'm really disappointed. Wow, there really isn't enough room on that bench. That's okay. I mean, I scooch over as much as I could while leaning oh, on I, the I'm wall. Not, I'm not, like, judging or, like, shaming you for the size of my ass or anything. <laughs> The, the limitation really is with the bench. I know how fat people feel when they sit on planes now. Alright, All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, take, I'll take one for the team. And sit on a plane? Yeah, yeah. Red, 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 hoodie. Red, hoodie. red hoodie. Red hoodie, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Red hoodie Diddy Kong has and Diaz on the back. Wait, what the hell are you... No, get on the bench. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. That's humiliating, dude, for both of us. How's how for you? I don't. Because mm. like I'm sitting over here with like the edge of the bench halfway up my ass crack, and <laughs> well then scooch over more on the bench. But then I feel I'll bad because I'm not giving you the space that you deserve as a fellow human being, as a fellow commentator, like the guy where I prefer to to sit on my knees than uh, have a bench shoved up my ass crack. Does the M stand for Make America Great Again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, All right, we, I don't know we hit a nerve. We hit a nerve, folks. I really don't know how to take that. <laughs> I don't know. I could get political, but we'll keep that off of stream. No, you can make oblique references to politics, and and it could be funny. The problem is, as soon as you express a viewpoint, then then people start getting mad and saying okay. things like, you know, I hope you die. Which, which is pretty rude at the best of times, unless, like, you're in a duel and you need the other guy to die, but... Fair enough, if it's like, uh, showdown at high noon. Spouting political belief beliefs, which I don't know why you would do at high noon, but... Well, technically, those MAGA hats would probably be pretty advantageous in a high noon situation, because, like... Um, I th think they've got the wider brims for increased sun coverage. You're not gonna get blinded. Fair enough. All right, so Unlike Matt by that laser just now. Something, somebody's yelling. Something happened upstairs. I assume Blue Zone did a thing. That's usually what causes that. <laughs> causes a loud amount of hype. Usually Chaden. Good work, good patience by... Uh, All right. By Quaff. First stock gone from... Uh, Quaif. And Diaz. I'm really digging the new uh, the stage texture. It's it's much easier to see things like uh, like snake mines. That's uh that's why I kept the the platforms the same because I was like I don't want anybody complaining about snakes mines, so I'll keep that the same, but I'll change the main texture to darker. I'm glad oh, I didn't even notice it. that the platforms were the same color. Yeah, the same color as base. I mean, uh, the the gray would look just as good, but I mean. Uh, this gray, the gray you're using. Yeah. yeah. The point is visibility, and we have that. It's different enough from the AZP M1 
so everything's fine. Because like copyright issues are <laughs> exactly <laughs> pretty we're, fresh we're, we're in all, everyone's minds. We're already getting there with a B P M. We're we're one letter away from that the was Z Man's seat. suggestion though, wasn't it? <laughs> Z-Man's a cool guy though. <laughs> Alright, we're giving a little respect to Z-Man for uh, NDI's request because it was completely Z-Man's idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. I see a lot of Marth down air out of shield. Is that uh, really like his best option out of shield? It depends on context. If someone's hitting the back of Marth's shield, it's really hard for him to quickly hit them any other way. So it's risky because there's a lot of end lag behind it, but the down air, it, it comes out fast. So if you know the other guy hitting your shield like the back of it with something laggy, um, and you have time to do the down air, then the down air is actually going to be your best option pretty regularly. Okay. Uh, if, if, if they're just like shine pressuring you, um, as a space animal, that's a lot riskier. You won't really see Marth's down there in that. It brought this back really closely. Both uh, members of red team are at really high percents, and there goes Rob. Matt shooting for the stars. Oh my, oh my god. god. Deep Kong. <laughs> this, mon this monkey is living. How is he not dying yet? No one's hitting him. Mostly. <laughs> that that down so. smash was like questionable at best. There it is. Alright, so this is best of five, eh boys? Best of five. The second best part of having the commentary so close to the players is that if I talk really loudly, everyone there can hear me shit-talking them. But they can't do anything about it because, like, I'm on commentary, so I, I have to use words. This is my, it's literally my job to talk shit about every one of these people. Especially Nick. A, it's my job to talk, and sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't, I didn't hear anything about you. It's fine. It's, it's my job to talk, and sometimes it comes out as shit talk, but I mean... I'm getting paid for this. Yeah. We're not the getting paid bucks. for this. The illegal underground PM streams. In somebody's basement. Project M truly is like the last grassroots of the uh, Smash games. It's like the last grassroots esports in general. Uh, 64 was at Genesis 3. So. If they have a problem, just shit talk louder. That's, uh... <laughs> that's the Chris Williamson uh, approach to commentary, and, and he got kicked off because he was talking about, like, bodily functions. And that was pretty much it. Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing Yoshi could do there. Yeah, now he's banned off a of commentary. Wasn't that the guy that was also yelling e Ether? Ether? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was him. Okay. He's banned forever now. From tournaments in general, or oh, from commentary? Oh, no, just from commentary. I think that's a bit harsh. <laughs> no, cool guy. Just, like, in the same way that some people shouldn't be allowed near schools, like, and pretty much for the same reasons, he needs to not be allowed near a microphone. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Uh, that could be taken in a lot of different contexts, but I'm uh, I'm just gonna drop it. There's so much tripping. I thought we got rid of that. We're, we're oh never God. rid of tripping. <laughs> the one of the best things about uh, modding Brawl is like you find out so many weird little options that thank God they never used. Like there there is a uh, a value. That lets you give a move like a percentage chance of tripping someone. Um, so, for example, like the banana, it, it's got a hundred percent chance, obviously, and you know, Diddy's forward smash is zero percent. But you could have moves like like have you know twelve percent chance of tripping. 
I believe uh, they discovered that with uh, Smash 4 modding too, how certain moves That's have a higher percent wait, chance or not. Wait, wait, Smash 4, there's moves that, that will sometimes trip, but not always? I believe so, yeah. Donkey Kong's oh down tilt, I believe, causes tripping sometimes. That it might be spacing related, but it might not be. I would say that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but <laughs> it's actually not even close. The dumbest thing I've ever heard was uh, Professor Pro suggesting that uh, Snake's down throw should not actually be nerfed. <laughs> and that 22% was an acceptable amount of damage. On what? Snake's down throw. Zelda down tilt has a 16% chance in Brawl. 60. That oh, 60, yeah. Okay. But uh, here I thought Nintendo was too smart to use that option that they put in in their game engine, but I guess they, they spent the effort to <laughs> to put that in. Yeah, some of the some of the design choices in Smash games you can kinda shake your head at, but Oh yeah, the main person we should talk here is Sakurai. For example, Bayonetta and like ninety eight percent chant of her kit. Bayonetta's everything. Uh, I don't know. Bayonetta is... Actually, no, I can't. Like I can't really say anything. She's like if you right. put Melee Fox into Brawl. And made the combos even easier somehow. Oh my god! Ooh! That was, like that was sick. <laughs> or something like that. And yeah, the mechanic is on quite a few moves still in Smash 4, yeah. I'm trying to think of what other moves have the trip effect to them. I can't really think of any off the top of my head besides DK's. Although I know Sakura also has a, has a hard on for wind boxes because Mr. Game & Watch has so many moves that just have a random wind box thrown in and I hate it so much. That up air killed me like three or four times before I figured out what the hell was up with it. How it's just air? It, it, it's a lot of air. It is because you jump and you fly straight to the top blast zone. Yeah. Or if you down tilt when somebody's just falling and they'll kind of just like float there. Yeah, that's a fun thing to learn in bracket. <laughs> Matchup knowledge. Cool. That, that, that's some bold maneuvering by Quaff, uh, but I guess he feels pretty comfortable being two games ahead in this set. Fair enough, and if he was able to land that, that would have been an easy stock. Uh, kind of like that, that might be it for... Uh, I don't know, Diddy Kong's able to make it back. I feel like I should probably be playing my set right now, so I'm going to go hunt Kevin down and see why the hell we're not doing that. Uh, Fair enough, uh, where in bracket are you guys? Yeah, you got to fight Blue Zone and Bebro. Have fun. All right. I don't think I'm as funny as uh, as odds, but we'll we'll try our best. Ah, uh, Rob's nair man. Hitbox lasts forever. I don't even know if you can challenge it with anything. Oh, Yoshi was able to make it back. Ooh, up smash out of shield. Just dissing his playstyle. Classic Byron. I support you since you said you'd do that Zelda skin for me. Oh, you're that. Oh, you're Ryan. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Oh, yeah, people in gold or platinum or above on the PR, I will definitely take their requests for the next build if they want character skins. I know, uh, I know Corbin said that he wanted a, uh, like a flying raccoon skin for Luigi, but I searched the vault and I couldn't find any. Which sucks because I totally would have added that in, but. 
And what can you do? Ooh, nice F smash. All you gotta do is take care of this Yoshi and Marth should go down pretty easily to two characters. Oh my god. That forwarder. No, that should be it. Oh my god. Let's go up edge just too early, but Yoshi's dead anyways. Oh my... I was expecting a down air there, but... That should do it, yeah. Okay, alright. This could begin the comeback that N. Diaz and Dylan Lan, the Lan Lan, need. Alright, let's see what stages we're gonna ban. Wario Land, okay. I can understand that. Marth on Wario Land is tough to deal with. He covers those platforms really well. And it's a small stage, so you get the tipper on one of those platforms and you're dead really early. Hmm. I would ban FOD. That's because I just hate FOD as a stage. I don't know if there's any character that really benefits on FOD compared to other stages. Battlefield, okay. Let's see if they're able to tie this up. I mean, of course, they're going to have to deal with the uh, the counter picks of uh, Quaff and Wamza, but it'd be a bit of a hill to climb. It's a nice tech chase by Yoshi. <laughs> Recharging that F smash. Almost lands it too. Alright, Yoshi's in the air. Ooh, the laser. That'll... that'll <laughs> yelling out in anger. I really like FOD as Olimar. Well, I mean, I don't really like FOD because as an Ike, it really messes up with my movement because of the ever-changing platforms. That could just be John's talking, but... Oh my god. Oh no! Did he, s <laughs> did he let go and said goodbye to life? What's up, Dawson? It's going well. Winner's finals. Pop and up 2-1. Well, this uh, second game is looking pretty close. If they can keep playing how they've been playing so far and last game, should be able to take this one. Hmm. Alright, that'll do it for Yoshi. Let's see what they can do before Yoshi comes back. Not a whole lot. Rob just kind of nared there, and Diddy just kind of pummeled him. Hmm. Oh, oh, ho. Oh. That was that was dangerous. Diddy's up. He could have spelled the end for Rob. I mean, he's dead anyways. But oh my God. That that might be it. Oh, the down air. That'll take it. Blue team suddenly just brought this back. <laughs> that would, uh... Yeah, this game shouldn't be too much longer. Hey, Nick, can we get your mom on commentary? That'd be awesome. Oh my goodness. They play like gods. I may be able to take this. Okay, trying to get something started on this Yoshi. He's able to nair through that combo attempt, however. Okay. Oh. Careful. That Marth. Oh, that down smash will take it. 
and the tipper. That'll do it. Yep. Yeah.